55 to 61. West, northwest, 8 to 16. You see that low at 40? There's 46. It's about 40 right now. It's 723. That might be a record. 40 would set the record. 39 would break it for May in Virginia, or Virginia Beach anyway. Tomorrow looks a little better. Southwest 7 to 14. It, it may not be blowing 8, but I guarantee it's blowing 16 right there, right this minute. Well, it's cooking outside. That tree right there, that boy is working out. <laughs> Jack, uh, we looked at Jack's eye again last night, and it seems like his left eye is really, really swollen big. Uh, sticks out like a marble in the front. And when Hank came to visit on Friday, they have another dog named, uh, I can't remember the name, but there were four of them. They don't get along all that well, four of them don't. So they had a big fight under the fig tree Friday. And maybe he got hurt in the fight, maybe he got poked in the eye or something. So we're going to try to take him to another vet today, see if they can check his eye out. I'll get back to you on that part. The bay is, it looks like a washing machine. Fifty-five to sixty-one, west northwest eight to sixteen. You see that low at forty? There's forty-six. It's about forty right now. It's seven twenty-three. That might be a record. Forty would set the record. Thirty-nine would break it for May in Virginia or Virginia Beach anyway. Tomorrow looks a little better. Southwest 7 to 14. It, it may not be blowing 8, but I guarantee it's blowing 16 right there, right this minute. Well, it's cooking outside. That tree right there, that boy is working out. <laughs> Jack, uh, we looked at Jack's eye again last night. And it seems like his left eye is really, really swollen big. Uh, sticks out like a marble in the front. And when Hank came to visit on Friday, they have another dog named, uh, I can't remember the name, but there were four of them. They don't get along all that well, four of them don't. So they had a big fight under the fig tree Friday. And maybe he got hurt in the fight, maybe he got poked in the eye or something, so... We're going to try to take him to another vet today, see if they can check his eye out. I'll get back to you on that part. The bay is, looks like a washing machine. 169 and moved in four or five days. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's what it is, 169 at the Wawa. After two hours and 40 minutes, here comes Big Old Jack out of the veterinarian right, office. Almost three hours he's been in there. And no, he's ready to get out. The problem is we can't go home. I got, a, I got all them damn knives. I knew I was going to be over here for a short spell, but I didn't know I was going to be here forever. Now we got to drop those knives off from yesterday. Come on, Jack. I'll get back to you in a little bit, Big Old Jack. He's got... Something wrong with his right eye. Some, they, got, they don't know exactly what it is. They didn't see any trauma. He has no scratches or any of that stuff on there, you know. 
but they said he'd probably be okay, or it won't be, or it won't change. Didn't think it'd be any worse, but he can see out of it okay, she said. But I know that's not the truth. Say, Daddy, I can't catch them balls no more. That don't mean I don't want to catch them, though. No. They're just uncatchable. Ah, that was a good one. Uh-oh. It ran into my nose. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get the hang of it or not. Hank. Hank's going home tonight, I think I told you. Get him in this. <laughs> Good boy, you caught that one. I missed that one. I missed that one. Let's see, have a good time. Gives her something to do. Big old Jack can't play with her like that anymore. I've been wanting one of these tickets for a long time. My, my neighbor had one, just the one I wanted. So I asked him about it. He said, that's what you want, right that. I like it. Got four positions. I got it all the way in close up. I may move it out one. But for 59 bucks, I was expecting a steel step. It's a heavy duty, really heavy duty plastic step. The piece going into the receiver is really heavy duty. From our, from one of our a favorite Italian restaurants, they have Mother's Day special dinners today and tomorrow. We decided it would probably be really zooey tomorrow for Mother's Day, so we picked them up tonight. There's a salmon piccata. And they had a steak, they had four specials for steak. I got the steak and the potatoes and the broccoli. And they had a chicken one and a barbecued uh, short ribs. We got Ghost Runner, which you've seen before. And we'll put it on a plate and we'll have a Mother's Day dinner in about 10 minutes. Tomorrow, I think we're having crab cakes for Mother's Day. Low Tide Tim went to crab meat place today, yesterday and picked up some crab meat for himself and bought me two pounds. Man, that was a nice deal right there. Two pounds of crab meat. Great balls of fire. Mm. This ain't gonna be bad right here either. When I dropped off the last set of knives, it was uh, near a Amish store that we deal with sometimes. And every Mother's Day, they have homemade fresh strawberry pie. Well, I couldn't pass one up. It's just too outstanding. I'd had them before, but it's been, well, I don't know, it's been 10 years or so since I had one. But they had a big sign on the road, if star fresh strawberry pies are in, I said, oh God, I got to stop. That looks fancy, doesn't it?
And there we have it. Ready to go. Mother's Day dinner on Saturday. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Or day early.